Okay, here's my latest update. Um, so I'll try and keep it brief. I'll try and just stick to the points. So fulcrum strength, number one issue. Uh, making the stick comfortable between the index finger and thumb has been the number one focus. So if you've seen my last video, you'll see I was using fingertip to fingertip with both hands and that helped. I actually only needed to do that for a few days and I haven't needed to do it since. Um, that's how effective that particular exercise was. At the moment, what I'm focusing on is index finger and thumb. Uh, now, from my point of view, the thumb is in front of the index finger. Um, so you don't want it to be behind. It needs to be in front. The stick is going to sit almost perpendicular to the fingers. And you're actually using a bit of forearm as well as wrist to just let the stick bounce. I'm going to bounce it. As uh, Tommy Ogo would say, we're, we're bouncing, we're not drumming. And that's the goal here, is you're just bouncing. Um, I've needed to develop some strength, so I have done some tense hits to try and overcome the reactions in the awkward positions, uh, letting the stick sit down with the wrist fully bent forward. Because again, if you depending on how you're playing, with your good hand, your wrist is going to be relaxed as well. And I've seen Jim Chapin do molar stuff where the wrist is very, very flexed like that. Um, so if he's doing it, then I'm probably doing the right thing. Um, again, just getting the hand comfortable within all range of motions so that you can unlearn the bad habits and teach it the good ones. Um, I'm having to virtually learn to play from scratch again with my left hand, so it is going to take some time um, because I'm doing that on top of unlearning the bad habits. So I might try and play, you know, a 4-4 four, four beat, and if I'm not thinking about it, that's how my hand is la landing when I do those back beats. That's what I don't want to do. So I need to be concentrating really hard. And again, I can't do this on camera because it's going to take me too much concentration. So the idea is I'm training my body to learn new instincts about how to hit. So that's going to take some time. But I'm making progress. Um, as you can see, doing low strokes, getting a good little bounce there, same with high strokes. I can play a bit with little fingers getting involved. I've been practicing individual fingers, so I do some with, you know, middle finger, index finger, sorry, ring finger and pinky. Um, just overcoming all these reactions. As you can see, the clenching is, isn't happening at all um, with no stick in the hand. Again, massive difference from, you know, especially a year ago where I'd get to about there and the whole thing would want to do that. So definitely making progress. If you have any questions or comments, um, honestly, I've been doing so much. I've been experimenting with so many different things. Uh, it'd take me forever to put it all into a video because my mind will just go all over the place. So if you have any questions or comments, just... Uh, Send me a message, drop a comment, and I'll do my best to help uh, anyone who's uh, experiencing similar issues. Um, one day I will probably try and do a more thorough, more professional looking video um, about how I've dealt with the focal dystonia, um, but I'm gonna wait until I've got some pretty serious results. Like if I can start doing this with my left hand again, and you know, chuck some, you know, chuck accented strokes and all that sort of thing in there, then I'll be pretty happy about um, doing something like that. But for now, just, uh, yeah, any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.